Hello everyone, Zane here, welcome back to my channel, hope everyone had a great day so far. In this video, I'm finally going to be obtaining my Seat of Sacrifice, Gweber Mount. The Gweber of Light Trumpet. This horn-carved instrument emits an ethereal tone that beckons a refulgent Gweber of Light from his hiding place. Now, there really isn't much of a backstory on how I got this mount, but the last group that I did this with, we basically had at least three tries to get the mount because people had to go and someone just said like before the last kill I hope this drops because you know I gotta go what happens it drops all right funny thing is I didn't realize that I got it until I saw it scrolling down the screen anyway I rolled an 83 I'm like okay an 83 it's like a low 80 a good chance that somebody will beat me out and like I said I didn't realize I got it I looked at the screen, it was scrolled down, and I was like, holy crap, I got it on 83. So I looked in the chat. I rolled an 83, but the dragoon in our group rolls an 82. I was just like, oh my god, I feel so sorry for him because I know what that feels like to lose to one number higher. And I was just like, I just feel so bad for him. Not anymore because, you know, I had what I wanted, but I just felt bad for that person. But that's the story behind the Seed of Sacrifice. I really had a problem with this fight, uh, mostly because of the knockback from Ninja. I could never get the arm's length timing down. But I finally managed to get it down because right after um, the Warrior of Light does the Solemn Confidior, right as the Confidior AoE dissipates and disappears, that's when you pop arm's length so by the time the mechanics are done and the ninja disappears and the knockback happens you are i think about to get a fall off but like just enough where you can get it off and not screw up and kill your partner so if anybody has a problem with that timing right after the confidior disappears then pop arm's length all right so that sorry all the way let's go ahead and pop it go into the mountain guide under slot five here it is, the Griever of Light. This light-bathed being answers to the sound of a horn imbued with the power of a hero of Eld, in another time and place. Perhaps it was the mount of a valiant soul who rose up against evil, or perhaps not. The truth lies amidst the blinding light. Now, I definitely wanted this one the most because I really love the music. Alright, so first off, let's just go into G-Pose. To get a better look. Alright, so we have the classic Helm of Light horns for the headpiece. The wings are just a nice lighty light color. Uh, the plating on the tail is just like the ruby weapon, except different color. Uh, the knee pads are the Warrior of Light plate, which is pretty cool. And of course the saddle is also the, I guess, the back part of the armor. And around the neck you also can see another couple of spikes of the Warrior of Light's um, armor, which is pretty cool. And of course the music is, of course, the music from the uh, Seed of Sacrifice. I like the little particle effects that come off of it because it's like a nice little spark, sparkles of light. So yeah, definitely um, one of my, it's going to be one of my favorite mounts of this series. Of course, with Ruby being my favorite of the colors, but I think the Seed of Sacrifice is a close second to the Shadow Gweber. But yeah, that is my Warrior of Lights Gweber mount. And this is the first time I ever actually have all the mounts before the final mount has been released. I usually do this at the end of the expansion, but since the, you know pandemic and everything the rotation of the patches were a little bit off so I had not, nothing else to do except do my mount farm so the first time I actually caught up to the mount farms before the last one's released anyway guys that's pretty much gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching the please leave a like if you found this entertaining any comments questions concerns about anything in Final Fantasy 14 please put them in the comment section down below I'm more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy 14 Shadowbringers content and as a reminder make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button it's where you guys never miss an upload 
So until next time, guys, remember to walk on the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and hopefully you get your mount as well.